I'm a patient advisor here at ImageLift. I'm also a patient, so I'm happy to share my personal experience. I worked in aesthetics for many years, and I feel very blessed that my journey finally led me here to join Dr. Rich and the ImageLift team. We're all so excited to have you here today and to help you find what you're looking for. Dr. Rich is a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. He's performed well over 10,000 cosmetic procedures of the face and neck. He's also the Wall Street Journal best-selling author of the book you see in front of you. Dr. Rich lectures all around the country and he takes lots of media requests. We're gonna show you some of that video in just a moment. If you'll just take a second on your phones, then we'll get started. Now for those highlights. Is wearing something new. Dr. Rich Castellano money. Dr. Richard Castellano says laser light policies gets his vote. Dr. Richard Castellano. We asked Dr. Castellano to come in to Dr. Rich Castellano. The board certified facial plastic surgeon is one of the first in the country to use Google glasses while he's working on patients. Dr. Rich Castellano says that's one main reason behind this new trend. Less expensive, less invasive cosmetic face procedure. So she turned to Dr. Richard Castellano for an image lift. Thanks to Dr. Castellano, and I just feel like a million dollars. Dr. Castellano says he's seen a spike of patients like Elizabeth who feel they are being discriminated against because of their looks. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for Dr. Rich Castellano. so much. Please a big hand for our amazing team that put everything together here. It's not easy putting these things together and I am so proud of our team. They take such great care of me and they will take great care of you and we are so grateful to be here today to help you. What I have found is that people work their whole lives, they give to their families. How many people have raised a family? Who gets put first in family? Family. 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 family, kids, everyone else. Who gets put last? Us. We love that we can give to you now. It is your time. So we're really excited to share what we do. We've got some before and after pictures. We've got our books. We've got some of our patients. You can, you can meet our team. We're really excited to share with you what is possible. Because there's a lot of cosmetic treatments out there today, yes? Is it a little confusing about all of the treatments out there? Almost every day, there's a new treatment coming out. And some of them actually work. <laughs> but which one, the most important decision that you will make is who is taking care of you? Who is the that's making sure that your expectations are in line, that they're keeping you safe? And you must look natural yes yeah. okay you've come to the right place it is an honor I've performed over 10,000 cosmetic procedures of the face and neck I've done over 3,500 facelifts under local anesthesia I'm the number one long-term filler Bellafil injector in the United States we are very proud of that distinction we just did I just did a training this morning to train doctors from all around the country to continue to do that and we'll be in Chicago later Miami all around where people want to know what it is we're doing. So now we're here in Citrus Hills to share what we do. So let me ask you another question. Do people treat us differently based on our appearance? Yes. Do they treat us differently based on how young or how old they think we are? Yes. The most important person that treats us differently is ourselves. When we look in the mirror, the right reason to do this is to do this for ourselves. Thank you so much, Violet, thank you so much. The right reason to do this is to do this for ourselves. And we're really excited to share what we can do. Now, we have four categories of what we can address. We keep it simple, write this down. Number one, if we sag, we just tighten things back up. Right? If we lose volume, number two, we put the volume back in. We put things back where they belong. I have three kids. I have a 14-year-old, an 11-year-old, and a 10-year-old. I dropped them off at school this morning. And what do we tell our kids every day? Put that back where it belongs 
So we're putting things back where they belong. If it sags, we lift. If we lose the volume, we fill. If we get sun damage, wrinkles, and sunspots to the skin, we polish and repair the skin. The fourth category that we address, it outshines everything else. And that's our behavior. None of our treatments look as good as Mother Nature's free facelift or smile. Do me a favor, I want you to turn to who's next to you. Give him a big smile. Give him a big smile. It's crazy about you. Isn't that nice? Don't we look better? Someone get deeper creases here. I get some smile lines and wrinkles. Those are the best looking lines you'll ever have. I can help you look younger. If you want to look more attractive, it's the smile. It's the universal icebreaker. When we see someone who we really care about, what do we do the very first moment we see them? We smile. Family, friends, what do we do when we see a baby? We smile for that baby. Everything worthwhile starts with the smile. When we don't smile, we're in denial. Do we have a lot to smile about? You see that baby and you smile for the baby. What do we do when we're smiling at that baby? What happens if they smile back at us? Oh my goodness, oh my, it's, you know, it's a party. It's the universal icebreaker. It tells other people that you care. It tells other people that you're open. We can get so serious in life. We've got so much to smile about. This is important because every time I do a consultation, I ask everyone to look in the mirror and show your smile. Why? It's our model. When we look, we smile, and it plumps the cheeks. That's what we want to emulate. How do we keep you looking natural? Just emulate the smile. It even softens a little here, and it softens here. Okay? Mother Nature's free facelift. Now, when we do the consultation, this is how some people smile. They look into the mirror, and they go like this. They go. <laughs> Like they're really trying to get it out. And I've realized that some people, they don't smile that much and you can even get a debilitated smile. It can happen, it's kind of sad. So I we do smile therapy all the time in our office. What I'm gonna do, we'll do a little exercise to show the importance of our appearance and the importance of the power of smile. So what I'm gonna have you do is everybody needs to stand up and you'll need to get a partner one partner, two people together, one partner will have their hand up in the air, and my team will help out if you need a partner. One partner hand up in the air, the other partner hands down. If your hand is up, you are the smiler. If your hands are down, we need one more partner over here, uh, Nina and, and Violet, Mindy, and I'll be the oh, smiler. One more partner, if your hand is up, you're the smiler. If your hands are down, you are the poker face. Smilers, your job is to, right over here, your job is to get them to smile. Poker face, your job is to not smile. So on three, see if you can do your job. Ready? One, two, three, go. Can you get them to smile? Can you do it? All right, give yourself a hand, give yourself a hand. Switch up now. When you are the smiler, now you're the poker face. When you're the poker face, now you're the smiler. So switch up. I think you get a smile. Ready? One, two, three, go. Can you get up to smile? Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. There. Please go ahead and have a seat. You can have a seat. What just happened there? Were you able to get them to smile? Yes. Yeah. You gotta participate in the exercise. You, if you're doing it, you can get a There are some people that they don't smile the whole way through a lot of times they say at the end of the exercise, you can get them to smile. If we if I do a consultation and I cannot get someone to smile through the whole consult. What's the likelihood they're gonna smile after we do our very best work? What do you think? Zero. They're not gonna be satisfied. 
it's not that common. But if that happens, and I will tell that person, I say, you know, I don't know if this treatment's gonna give you enough improvement to make you happy. I just want you to be happy, right? So it's very powerful. You can actually score everyone in their smiles, zero to 10. Some people, they smile no matter what happens to them. Well, I got a flat tire. <laughs> Some people, no matter what happens to them, they never smile. When you meet with the doctor, what is the average smile score of a doctor? Zero to 10. It's variable. But are most doctors high smilers or lower smilers? Low, I think. Low. That's what I hear. That's what people tell me. What smile score do we want for the best customer service and the best patient experience? Eight. We want it to be high. It's not that hard to smile, right? It feels good. It looks good. Did you know that there is research to show when we smile, it physically changes our body? Your heart rate goes lower reduces stress. We could all use a little stress relief, right? There's research to show we actually stay married longer when we smile more. That was the problem. <laughs> oh, that was the problem, she says. There's even research to show we live up to seven years longer just by smiling more. So the energy we've got inside is so beautiful and it's so wonderful. You know how when you engage people in the grocery store, you just give them a smile? Most people, what do they do? They smile back. Our appearance matters. And people talk about, well, when we're doing these cosmetic treatments, is that just about vanity? When we use our appearance, you can use it either positively or negatively. If we use our appearance negatively to put other people down, or some people put themselves down with their appearance, that's what I call vanity. But when we use our appearance positively to inspire ourselves or inspire other people, there's a word for that, that's called style. This is about our own personal style. Style never goes out of style. Style is powerful. Style feels good, right? So that's why we are excited to help you express your personal style. Because when we blossom, when we feel that our appearance matches on the outside, how we feel on the inside, boy, it feels good, right? You stand a little bit taller. Your shoulders are back. You speak a little louder. You smile more. You engage more people. We have more to give. A lot of you have raised a family, right? And you're not going to stop giving to your family. Keep giving to them. But if we feel like we're dragging on empty. Give to yourself first, and you'll have more to give. And you will teach your family, this is how you give. Fill yourself up, give to others, because if we're always dragging around, we will teach our families to give to themselves last, and then they'll feel dra like they're dragging, and they're not gonna be their best selves. Do you follow me on this? Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's an honor to be here, and I'm gonna share with you some of our before and after pictures. So what's gonna happen? We'll go through the pictures, we'll answer your questions. When we're done, they bring the food out. We will do one-on-one -on -one consultation. So everyone here, even though there's a lot of people here, we'll go through your questions because we go through the consultation while I'm talking. And when I sit with you, I'll find out where your focus is, we'll make some recommendations, and we'll create a plan today before you leave. It doesn't take that long. And then my team can go through the specific details. Now, if you need more of my time, no problem. We set that up in the office. But there, I've got enough time to spend with each one of you, and I get my cell phone number out to all my patients, right? So you will have full access to me, but that's what we'll do today. They'll bring the food, you'll get a chance to talk to our patients. You got the book. This book hit the Wall Street Journal bestseller list. We're very proud of this book. Patients will read this book many times over, saying, I'm so glad I read it. It really prepared me, right? Because if you're in this room, I still believe you have a lot of active years ahead of you. Right? Whatever that number may be of what we've got left, you want to make the most of what you've got. So you've got all the resources here, and I'll share with you some before and after pictures, but we're excited that you're here, and we're excited to share what we can do for you. So this is Judy. Judy is a, she's a good smiler. She's a high smiler. She's a family woman. Judy was a caregiver 
or her parents. Anyone here ever been a caregiver before? Is that easy to be a caregiver? Right? It's stressful work, it's around the clock, emotional, hard to get a break. She did this for 20 years of her life for her parents. Now it was good that she could be there for them, but it can take a toll over time. When her parents passed, unfortunately her husband fell ill and she was his caregiver for an additional 10 years. So after being a caregiver for 30 years of her life, Judy made a confession to her daughter. She said, you know, I don't even know who I am anymore. I felt like I've always been living for other people. That day, Judy made a very important decision. She looked into the mirror, and as she looked at herself in the mirror, she saw some of the aging changes. She pulled back on her jawline like this, and she liked what she saw. Does anyone here ever do that at home? Oh, yeah. She liked what she saw. She came into our office. I will never forget meeting Judy for the very first time. You know how when you meet people that have been through difficult things in life, that the little details don't tend to bother them so much? This was Judy. She was very humble, quiet, and reserved. We talked. She told me about her family. She told me about her goals. We sat down in front of the mirror. I pulled back my I said, how does that look? She says, I like it. I said, some get a little bit less. Some get a little bit more. If you like what you see, you'd be a good candidate for the treatment. She wanted to do eyelids and little cheek treatment in the lift. She gave her daughter the look over her shoulder as if saying, you know, what do you think? Her daughter said, you go for it, mom. It's your time. So the laser image lift, we did an eyelid treatment and a cheek treatment fillers, and here are her results. Thank you. Looks very natural. You see the jawline. The eyelids, we trimmed the skin there. Now notice in the cheeks, we did not do surgery in the cheek. That's just a little filler and volume. So you can avoid surgery by doing fillers in some cases or some laser treatments. So Judy comes back to the office. I love seeing patients when they come back. I wanna ask, what's the response been? What have people said? So she came back and she's standing a little taller, shoulders back, she's smiling more. She was telling me she was driving with her son. She loved her results. She was driving with her son. Her son was driving and they got a flat tire. She pulls the car over and another couple came to help them out. And as they were talking, they asked her son, they said, how, is your, how are you doing? How is your wife doing in the car? And she loves being mistaken for her son's wife. And as she's telling this, you know, and I'm seeing her, she's animated more and talking. And I'm saying, what a wonderful transformation. It's the same person, very different behaviors. And it is never too late to invest in ourselves. It is never too late to blossom and feel good about yourself. Judy had been attending her church for years, and for the very first time, she started to be a greeter for her church. Telling people, hey, so good to see you. Why don't you come on in? Let me get that door for you. We're so glad that you're here. What a wonderful transformation. So the power of our appearance, the power of our smile, is something I've truly dedicated my life to. We're so honored to be here, and I'm gonna share with you more before and after pictures, but if we can do this for Judy, I know we can do very special things for you, so I'm really excited that you're here. And everyone here has an energy inside of them that brought you here, right? There's a lot of places you could be today. Whatever that energy was that drew you here today, you had to pick up the phone or you had to email, you made a reservation, you blocked your schedule, you got ready, you're here, or maybe you just got dragged here. Maybe you're here for lunch. Whatever you're here for, that energy, we want to satisfy that. We want to give that to you because it's your time now. So thank you so much for being here. Now, this is Sally. Sally is a swimmer, she's very active. She did laser treatment and lift. Very difficult to see the incision locations. When she comes to the office, she brings donuts in, so we love seeing Sally. <laughs> Mary had been wanting to do the lift for years, and she came to an event very similar to this, and she said she couldn't do the lift. Said she can't do it because 
she felt she couldn't get her finances figured out. If she had a, she was on a fixed income, she had her money was wrapped up in different things. She couldn't get it figured out, but she still had it done. How is that? So Mindy, Violet, and Stephanie, they figure that out for you. If that's what's holding you back, you let us know. Because we were able to do it for her, we can do it for you too. Now, this next before and after picture I'm gonna share with you, I really am very proud. It's our best result ever. It's using all the power of Smile, the latest technology, and all of my experience in one result. I'm very proud to share this with you. Oh my God. <laughs> Did we do a great job? Now that's, so that's actually, that's my daughter third grade. Now she's in eighth grade. Oh my goodness, how time flies. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that we ever have people that come to us and they want this kind of improvement? Yes. Yeah. We have to have a talk with them. There's a limit on how far we can go. We can't take things this far. That's where the one-on-one -on -one comes in. We'll go as far as we can. If we need to come back another day, we can always come back and do more. Okay, you follow me on this? All right, very good. Melba has come to a lot of our events. She was in her 70s in this picture. She's almost 80 now. Sagging tissue, she called these her Richard Nixon gels. She did a lift, she did a touch-up procedure, she did laser and fillers, we also did eyelid treatment. Very difficult to see the incision location. You must look natural. Jeannie's a nurse. We have a lot of healthcare providers that come through. In fact, just earlier this week, I had a nurse. She did the laser resurfacing, laser tightening. We call it external and internal laser. She did a lift and she did eyelids. Is anyone here on Facebook? You should follow us on Facebook because we put a lot of videos out on a regular basis, almost on a daily basis. And you can actually watch me do the procedures or watch me do the fillers. Not everybody wants to necessarily watch the surgery, but patients come through and say, you know, when I saw how comfortable you made the patient, that made me a believer. Then I said, okay, I can try this out. Just try it out, we'll love it, okay? So we have nursing staff, medical staff that come through. We have an outside consulting firm. They monitor all of our practices. We always want to be improving no matter what we do and raising our standards. Jeannie brought in, sent in one of her family members. They said they wanted to get rid of what they called their turkey neck. Okay, so Martin, he's out in the villages. He plays a lot of golf. Notice how the skin drapes along the side of the jawline here. We tighten things up. He doesn't care long to hide any incisions. He looks very natural. And there you see the power of smile. We always look our best when we smile. I can't outdo that. This patient did a lifting procedure, got a big improvement. She was not satisfied. She started with a lot. We came back and we did a little more. If we need to come back another day and do more, that's always better than going too far. Do you follow me on this? So whether we need to do a touch up or not, we'll talk to you about that in the one-on-one, -on -one, but you will look natural, guaranteed. Now, her story is, her grandson was five at the time, and when he would come see her, he would get so excited, he would run and jump into her lap, and he would take his little hand and grab her neck and pull it back and forth. She hated that. So now he doesn't have anything to grab onto there. I show Al's picture. When I do the lift, the image lift is the most that I will do under local anesthesia. People don't want traditional facelifts. They don't want general anesthesia. They don't want surgical drains. They don't want surgical staples. They don't want IV sedation. They don't want cut across through here. They don't want, you know, traditional facelifts that used to make all the hair go away here. But you know, it's not necessary. You don't want to have an old fashioned facelift. Patients don't want that. What we offer with image lift, that's the most I'll do under local anesthesia. It takes me a couple of hours under local. We tighten through here. We, we lift them, tighten the muscle and lift the extra skin. There's a, that's the image lift. I do that with or without a laser tightening. Then there's the mid lift. The mid lift is if someone just wants a little bit less, but they still want to tighten their profile, it may be easier for their budget. Then there's the mini. Now there are a lot of doctors out there say, I won't do the mini, it's no good. I've got a lot of happy patients that have done the mini. In fact, this week, 
I saw two of my patients that had done minis about eight or 10 years ago, and they're ready for another now. So it's a great procedure for the right person. How do I decide if the mini is right for someone? If somebody tells me, you know, I don't care about this, but I like this, mini can do very well for them. So I had this conversation with Al, and I said, Al, you know, you've got a fair bit under here. We should probably do the image lift or the mid lift. His answer was, just do the mini. I'll be happy with that. Do the best that you can. Now, whatever you choose, I will go for the gold. I'll go for the best result possible. We did the mini for him, and if you notice, he got a nice result, but if you notice, he still has a little bit under here. He's okay with that. But some of our patients, they would not be satisfied. So that's where the one-on-one -on -one is so important, where we can go through what's right for you. Everyone has a different anatomy. We have different expectations. Some want more, some want less. They may respond differently to the treatments, okay? The one-on-one -on -one is where we will go through all that, and if you need more of my time, we'll set up some time in the office. You can have all my time that you need. I get my cell phone out, tell my patients, my friends think I'm crazy for doing that. We get very few phone calls because we do a lot of answering questions in the office. Laser treatment, no stitches, and the laser tightens the skin and it removes the fatty tissue. This is one day later. There's no physical downtime. You can get right back into your routine. You'll be swollen for four to seven days. So this is one day later, this is eight, uh, let's see, seven months later, seven months after she did the lift, that laser tightening, laser tightening along the jawline, no stitches, we did some filler in the corner of the mouth, we did some fillers in the cheek, okay. Monica came on TV and demonstrated her results. We're on TV on a pretty regular basis, we do the daytime segments, and you can go on YouTube and the internet and see a lot of our videos there where we share about our patients. Laser tightening does a great job. Nothing compares with what a lifting procedure will do. This is the image lift one year later. Big improvement in her neckline. Look at around the ear. Very difficult to see the incision location. So now I combine them. So the laser tightens the skin. It's an internal laser. We lose the elasticity here. It's like the elastic band or the old sock. It gets stretched out. It doesn't fit so well anymore. Laser tightens the skin. Lift tightens the muscle, lift removes the extra skin. So that's what we did here for Judy. We did that also for Deb. Laser for the skin, lift for the muscle, lift to remove the extra skin. RJ's an actress, she's in movies and television. I can't get this kind of improvement unless I'm using the latest technology, okay? Some of you have your photos from when you're in your 20s or 30s. It's not mandatory, but it does help because you can see where we started. For Diane, she's 18 years old here. Look at the fullness in our face. As we get older, we tend to lose bone. And as we lose bone, we may get a little bit shorter. You know what I'm talking about? I don't make the rules up. But if you pay attention to this, you are going to get options here that you're not gonna get in other offices, okay? Because of how we pay attention to these changes. We lose bone, we get a little bit shorter, Take your finger and feel your brow bone. You can feel the bone in your brow. You can feel it on your cheek. There's a bony area here. The back of the jaw, you feel the bone. And your chin. All of those areas right here, they also erode and get a little smaller. And the facial mask will sag over top. Do you follow me on this? So the best answer is just reinflate the face. Fillers are the future of plastic surgery. There's no downtime. They look natural when you have the right artist taking care of you. Immediate results. We have short-term and we have long-term fillers. There are fillers that are permanent. There are three decisions that you make when you choose fillers. The first decision is where? Some people want a specific area. Some people want full face. But we decided that in the consultation. Where would you like the filler? Second question, which filler? Short term, long term. Once you do fillers long enough, everybody starts to say the same thing. Don't you have something that lasts longer? <coughs> and I do. But there are some patients that say, no, I just don't feel comfortable with a long term filler. Some patients spend one to four thousand dollars every year on the short term filler. The most expensive filler is the temporary. You have to keep 
replacing it. So when you know your options, you can choose what's right for you. So what we did for Diane, we did the lift, and then we also did some fillers here. And notice how hollow she is through here. That's normal, that's natural. If we're lucky, aging keeps coming for us, right? <coughs> so we did tightening, we did volume. Katie's a nurse, she's a figure skater. See the back of the jawline, how full that area is? And it, the jawline kind of fades away. The bone changes. Lifted and filled. Liz is 18 here and she's in her 70s here. Look how full she is, even the brow, and see how she's hollow. Lifted and filled. We can't make it perfect, but we can make it better. Perfection in plastic surgery is not a good thing. Don't get me wrong, I have a very high standard, and yes, I love to be a perfectionist about things. But if you actually make something perfect on the face, it starts to look a little strange, right? I never use the words gone, take away, or get rid of. The best cosmetic procedure, no one can figure it out. But if you make it look perfect, then people, they can't stop looking. It doesn't seem quite right. That's why people come to me, because they want to look natural. Fillers are the future of plastic surgery. They do a great job. This patient came in, we did the fillers. She loved it. She came back six months later. She said, my fillers are all gone. We looked at her before and after pictures, and as she looked at her pictures, she says, oh, I didn't realize the lines were that deep before. There's a famous plastic surgery saying that after we do a cosmetic treatment, our vision gets better and our memory gets worse. Once you do a treatment, you're gonna look at your face so closely, right? You'll notice things you didn't notice before, one brow's a little different than the other. Wrinkles are more on one side than the other. Usually it's on the left side because of driving. And the memory gets worse because we forget what we used to look like. So that's why we take the pictures so you can see. Full face fillers, right? This is seven syringes. Most people don't do this way. The company that makes these fillers, they fly me out to train other doctors. They want them to know, how is it that, I do a couple, almost 200 syringes of filler every month for our patients. Some people, some people say, well, you look too young to be doing all this stuff. How, are you sure? I'm actually 84 years old, but I can't allow cosmetic treatments. Seven syringes of filler, it looks natural. Some people are happy with just one session. Some are not satisfied until they do a second session. So this is one session, and we also took the mole off of her cheek. This is two sessions, so he did 16 syringes of the long-term filler, the Bella fill. The FDA approval says the Bella fill, the polymethyl methacrylate is non-absorbable, okay? So it's 80% collagen, 20% PMMA. It's FDA approved for use in the nasolabial fold and for acne scarring, and I use it off-label throughout the entire face. So we've won awards for our results at national meetings, and at some of the biggest cosmetic surgery meetings in the world, I'm a guest faculty, and I lecture, and I talk, and I teach, and I train. Laser treatment, when we get the lipstick bleeds into the lip lines, it's a burn to the skin. You need seven to 10 days that you don't wanna see people. Some people love that option. Some people say, I will never do the laser. My goal is that you know what your options are, okay? And if it's right for you, then we can talk about it. My Aunt Shirley, 76 here, a lot of wrinkles and sun damaged skin. We did a lift for her and we did the laser treatment. Her grandson got married not too long ago. Her daughter came in and did her lift. They look great for the wedding pictures. Aunt Shirley's in her 80s now. Phyllis called these her waffles. She says it looked like she fell asleep on a waffle iron. <laughs> we did the lift and the laser. She's very happy with her results. So have you seen some pictures that you liked? Would you be happy if you had results similar to what you've seen today? So what I'm gonna talk about, what is this about? This is really about quality of life. Now, if you live here in this area, you know about quality of life, how important that is. How many people are from north? Do we have to ask why you moved down south? When we live up north, we move down south, and our quality of life, it goes up. Now, when our faces start to go down south, you just lift them right back up north, your quality of life goes up. This is also about patterns we get into. You notice how people get into autopilot 
right? When we're driving, you ever had that experience? You drive your car, you get into your driveway, and as you park your car, you say, you can't remember the past five, 10 minutes you've been driving. I hope I didn't run through that stoplight. Because we're on autopilot, or we put the clothes in the car, and you're gonna drop it off on the way to the cleaners. And what happens as we're driving? You're on autopilot. When I do consoles with people and I watch people look into the mirror, we go into autopilot when we look into a mirror. What do I mean by that? When we look into a mirror, we look at ourselves, we tend to go in the same pattern, we look at ourselves the same places, we tend to say the same things to ourselves. When did I start looking like my mother, father, brother? <laughs> and it makes us feel the same way, it's a pattern. Some of my patients tell me that their pattern, they look in the mirror, they get ready, they don't like they don't like how they feel, and they don't stay in front of the mirror. They just get ready and go because of that pattern. So I want to ask you, this is Dale. What do you think her pattern was when she looked into the mirror knowing that she had lost some of her youthful appearance? What did she focus on? What did she say to herself? And more importantly, how did it make her feel? Dale came into our office. She did a image lift. She did fillers. She did eyelid treatment. She's also done a touch-up procedure. Do you think she has the same pattern now? What is she focusing on now? What does she say to herself? And more importantly, how does it make her feel? Dale has come out to many of our events and she inspired a lot of people to do their treatments. She's a really big smiler. She's an inspiration to us. I'm sad to say Dale is no longer with us. She was diagnosed with a condition. She passed very quickly, but she is a reminder to us that we live for today. Tomorrow is not promised for any of us, and she inspired us with her smile. She inspired us with her example and her results. I can't, I tell my patients, they say, we love what you've done, we're so proud of you. I say, I couldn't do it without you. We're in this together, right? So we're very grateful for Dale in our lives. If we can do this for Dale, we can do really great things for you as well. Everything in life evolves. If you told people what these devices would be like, 30 years ago, today, what would they have said? Crazy, it's not possible. Not only is it possible, in a few years, these things are gonna be outdated, right? What else has evolved? Have grandparents evolved? What were grandparents like 30, 40 years ago? Grandparents today, they're active, they're hip, they're athletic. They're living much longer, they're raising their grandkids, a lot of grandparents are still working. Plastic surgery has also evolved. The tools we use are far better. The results are better. It's safer, more affordable. There truly has never been a better time to do a cosmetic treatment. That's why we're really excited to be here and share what we do. And if you haven't been watching our videos, you know I broadcast live. There's no filters, there's no editing. We're doing a little Facebook live broadcast now. People watch our seminars. Obviously I wouldn't broadcast live if we didn't feel confident in what we're doing. So we teach, we write, we publish on video. We're doing all of these things so you can make the right decision for you. Do you follow me on this? Okay, very good. Sherry comes out to a lot of our events. She did a lifting procedure, looks natural. She's an image consultant. She did not tell her daughter what she did. Bev did laser resurfacing and the laser tightening through this area. No stitches in between these two, okay? The latest technology, that works. Jen is a part of our team. She helps to set up these events. She did a lifting procedure as well and laser treatment. Linda comes out to a lot of our events full of volume when she's young, aging changes, sun damage, sagging, loss of volume. We did lift and fill here. She's very happy with her results. Linda came on TV with us and she told the, the TV host, she said she had the Cadillac done. <laughs> she did the laser, the lift and the filler. When the host saw her pictures before and after, he says, you didn't have the Cadillac, you had the Bentley. <laughs> Nancy came out, she did a little mini lift. Notice how it tightens the jawline. Some patients come in and they just want a little bit, some want a little more. During the one-on-one, -on -one, we'll go through that with you. Now, <coughs> if you've seen things that you've liked, this slide I like a lot. People come and they're like, I'm ready to go, this is gonna be great, I love your team, I love your philosophy, I love your book, I've seen your videos. Right? I'm, we're the most experienced facial plastic surgery group here in the area by far. 3,500 facelifts. 
Most surgeons retire after about a 500 or a thousand. Okay? And we're still going strong. If you see something here that you feel is holding you back, just let us know. You'd be amazed how flexible we can be. If it's the finances, you only need one plan to make things work. And we've had many patients tell us, I'd love to do it, but I can't. I gotta get my finances figured out. And they still have it done. So don't let that hold you back. Let us know. We will put a plan together that works for you. Or maybe you're busy, you don't have time. You've got mahjong, you've got pickleball, you've got clubs, you're traveling, you're going on a cruise, family's coming up from out of town. If you have no downtime, people come tell me all the time, I'm going for a reunion in a few weeks or a month or two. I've got a wedding coming up. If you have no downtime, we have no downtime treatment options. We'll do the best we can with what we've got, all right? So let us know. Some people are allergic to fear. We take the fear out of it. My niece was three years old. When I got the phone call, she fell and got a gash right in the middle of her forehead. We brought her into the office. We numbed her up. We did the stitches. She did not shed one tear. And we can make her feel comfortable. I promise we can make you feel comfortable too. And you can have a lollipop too if you want. So we'll make you feel comfortable. That's what I do best. That's what I love to do. Some people say, I'd love to do that. I'm taking care of my family or I've got things to take care of. That would be so selfish if I did that for me. And that's what we love. It's your time. Being selfish is being smart. When you do it the right way, we can't pour from an empty cup. Right? So, and are your family and friends going to talk about you? if you do a cosmetic treatment. They're gonna talk about you no matter what you do. You might as well do what you want, right? You can't worry about what people are gonna say. This is about you, this is not for other people. During a consultation, here's what we focus on. What are your areas of focus? A lot of people say, well, you're the expert. Why don't you tell me what I need? And I will tell you what is popular, what I think you would enjoy. But I've gotta hear it from you first what's important to you, and then we'll take things from there. Once we know your areas of focus, some people say a very specific area, some people say everything. Now, they, people ask, do we do any tummy tucks or breast procedures? Now, when I do the lift, if I pull really, really tight, <laughs> So I don't do anything there, but we go for the best we can. But if you need someone else, I know and trust people in the area, I can give you the right referral. I got a very beautiful thank you note from someone that told me I gave them their self-esteem back because I connected them with the right doctor. He said, thank you so much for your personal call. I never met the person, but they called into our office. I, they said, you're looking for this, but you need to go see this person. And they got taken care of. So we are here for you. I know it can be very confusing to navigate in medicine. My son needed a hernia operation, and I'm a doctor. It was not easy figuring out the right place to take him, the right doctor, the right anesthesia, all of these things. It was overwhelming. I can just imagine what it is for someone else. So we will help you. Whatever you need, that's what we're here for. What are your areas of focus? What's in your heart? Some people get a little confused or it's easy to get overwhelmed. We simplify everything. We're not doing our job. If it seems too overwhelming, you simplify things so you can make the right decision. An easy way to simplify, ask yourself the question. What's in your heart? What do you really want? We should live our lives. Pursue what's in your heart. That's gonna make you happy. happiest. When we choose what's in our heart, it gives you that thrill. It's fun, you get the little chill, right? It's magic. Choose what's in your heart will never guide you wrong. Now, what else have you tried? Have you ever done a cosmetic treatment before? And did it work for you? We need to know these things so that we can craft and create a treatment that's right for you. And do you have downtime available? Yes or no? If you've got downtime, great. If you have no downtime, great. All of these things allow us to put a plan together that's just right for you. So that's what we talk about during a consultation. Safety first. Now, the image lift is an office-based procedure. Risks involved, we minimize that as much as possible. Leaving our fluid collection, we handle that in the office. Infection, we put you on an antibiotic. Damage to surrounding structures, risk of a weak lip or eyelid is uncommon and it's rare that that would be permanent. It's less of a risk than a traditional facelift. We stay more superficial in an attempt to avoid that. 
Sometimes a deep stitch we put in can come out of the skin like a splinter. If that happens, that's easy for us to take care of. Everyone's face has asymmetry. You ever notice that, how the face is a little different on one side than the other? I've had patients, they learn about their facial asymmetry for the very first time. After they did a treatment, they come in and said, hey, what's the deal? This cheek's bigger now on this side than the other. I said, well, let's look at your pictures. And they look and they say, well, we've got it in the before and after pictures. Everybody's got asymmetry before. If you make it perfect, it cannot look natural. We will keep you looking natural. You must, and we will. So everyone's got facial asymmetry. When you do the lift, the ears can be numb afterwards. Now, when the nerves grow back, you might feel itching, tingling, soreness, or pain. Most will say, it's numb. I don't really notice it. It's getting better, and it goes away. Then the healing process is unpredictable. Most people heal just fine. Some people choose to do a touch-up or an additional treatment. They generate an additional expense. That's more the case if someone comes, they've got a really big neck, we do a nice procedure and clean things up, they get a little relaxation. They want to touch up, it costs more money. And I'll tell you in the one-on-one, -on -one, if your risk for that is low, medium, high, whatever the case may be. Now everything I do, it's under local anesthesia. So the risk that someone goes to a hospital, have a heart attack or stroke is rare. That's why we do it this way. Safer than IV sedation, safer than general anesthesia. Now with fillers, what are the risks for fillers? Everybody out there is doing fillers, everybody's doing it, all sorts of people are injecting. And just because they know how to inject the fillers, it does not mean that they're an expert at it. What are the risks for fillers? Risk of undercorrecting. If we undercorrect, you can always come back and put more in, right? Risk of overcorrection. We go conservatively to avoid that. If you do overcorrect, you can fill the area around to even things out. I'm not going to overcorrect you with what we're doing. Risk of lump or bump formation is uncommon. If that happens, it's treatable. Most people feel the skin, and they say, I know that filler's there, but I don't feel anything. Some say, well, I do feel something, but I don't see it, and it doesn't bother me. I'll leave it alone. Rarely do I make an incision to take a nodule out. So strategy, use a small amount over a large area to minimize or eliminate your risk for that. Do you follow me on this? Now, I use a safety cannula for most of my injections. What's a cannula? It's basically a soft needle less bruising, less trauma, risk of getting the filler into a blood vessel causing scarring, loss of vision, damage to surrounding structures is rare. That's why you want an expert injector. Risk of infection, reaction, prolonged swelling is rare and that's treatable. So these are the things we go through with the fillers. We want your best result. We want your best safety. You must look natural. So I have four core principles. So as we said, tightening if we sag, Restore volume if we lose volume. Restore collagen in the skin and build up the skin if we get sun damage to the skin. Behavior, those are our four categories and there's four principles within each one. Number one, you must look natural. So say that back to me. You must look natural and you will. Safety, prevention. Prevent future aging changes. If we're lucky, aging keeps coming. If we can prevent the aging changes, you're doing a good thing. Number four, get as much improvement as you can. Okay, we love to reward people who put a deposit down towards a lifting procedure. So during the seminar, if you place a deposit, Mindy. 250. We, so we're doing a $250 off your lifting procedure if you put a deposit down during the event. We love to reward people who take action we love getting referrals. We get referrals pretty much every day from doctor's offices, from other patients that send people in. And I have discovered that you should never tell your family or friends that they need to see a facial plastic surgeon. <laughs> it just doesn't go over very well. So we've solved that problem. Dana, our esthetician, raise your hand up, Dana. There's Dana in the back. Dana, wonderful person, you should get to know her. She does complimentary facial masks. So if you call her office and said, I'd like to set up an appointment with Dana, she'll do the complimentary facial mask, she'll do a skincare analysis, talk to you about skincare, things like that. And just tell your family or friend that they can go make an appointment with Dana. And when they come in, then we'll have the talk. <laughs> but this way, you didn't tell them to see a facial plastic surgeon. You said they can get a skincare analysis, they can do a facial mask. But we love getting referrals, and we take great care of our referrals. We're very proud of what we do. We're gonna answer some questions now. 
and then we're going to bring Mel and Linda are going to come and talk about their treatments that they've had. What questions may I answer about what we've talked about? What do you so, use for medication? What do I use for medication? It depends on the person. When I do the one-on-one, -on -one, we go through your medication list, we go through your health history, and then I choose medicines based on what you will do best with. We use a relaxing medicine, we use an antibiotic. After you do the procedure, there's physical versus social downtime. Physically, from the lift, you'll get back into your routine in a day or two. Socially, we pass the grocery store test. Seven to 10 days, you walk into the grocery, no one really does a double take. With the mini, the grocery store test is four to seven days. So patients, we give them pain medicine. Usually, people will take the pain pills for a couple of days. Some people only take Tylenol. Some take all of their pain pills. It's variable, but we monitor that closely. So it all depends on your health history. That's a great question. Thank you very much. I meant to put you under Relaxing medicine. There's many choices I have for that. I've used hydroxazine. I've used Valium. I've used many different things. So that depends on the person, and I can do it effectively many different ways. Does that make sense? Thank you very much. Yes. Do you need a driver after this? When you take the relaxing medicine, it's like you had a few cocktails. So we want you to have a driver. If you need help, we set transportation up all the time. We have people come from out of town, people that fly in, we set up hotel. We have some of our patients that have done the treatment. A lot of people live alone and they don't have someone that can get them. So what they do, it's a very reasonable fee They'll drive you, they'll stay with you, they help you with, patients love it. We get a lot of compliments on our patients that have had our team stay with them. So if you need that, they can help you out. So we'll work with you if you need transportation. But yes, you do need someone to drive you back and forth. Thank you very much. Yes, go ahead. Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, I have a friend who's very, very wrinkled, much more wrinkled than anybody we saw in mm -hmm. there. And she's thought about plastic surgery, but she thinks she's too far gone. <laughs> Do you think that you can help somebody like her? It's a lost cause. There's, there's always something we can do. There's always something. It starts with a consultation. Yeah. If we see her in a consult, find out what's important to her. It can be the simplest thing sometimes. But the answer is yes, I can help. Some people send me their pictures, and we do a consultation over the phone or virtually. So. Absolutely, we'd be happy to help her, have her come in or have her send her pictures and we'll, we'll give her guidance. And my second question is, um, what about complications? I know there can be complications and financially, um, they're probably not covered by insurance. They wouldn't be covered by my insurance because they don't cover cancellation, uh, complications from elective plastic surgery. But what kind of complications do you run across? So when you talk about with the lift, Bleeding or fluid collection, we handle that in the office. You don't have to go to the hospital for something like that. It is very rare. When you go to the dentist's office, you may, some need a hospitalization, that is very rare. Now, I've never had a patient come to me saying, you know what, I did this and my insurance wouldn't cover it. Insurances, so far that I've understood, don't say, hey, we're denying your coverage because of why. People do all sorts of behaviors that are kind of risky and not maybe so wise. An insurance company doesn't say, well, you were really having some crazy behavior here. <laughs> we're not covering that. Okay. So the bottom line that I found is stack the deck in your favor. Do local anesthesia, less risk, less expense. We do the least amount, give you the best result. But it is rare that patients need to have a hospitalization for something like this. We have a very safe track record. And so that really has not been an issue okay. for my patients. Thank you for bringing that up. That's why patients come to me. They want to avoid the hospital. They want to avoid bigger treatment. So that's a great question. That's why we're here to help prevent those things. Do it in the office. Make sure you got someone who's really experienced. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, we're gonna take a few more questions. Is this a permanent fill or something new? Because before it was like wrestling and you had the permanent fillers have been in use, the Bella Fill has been in use since 2007. But the filler, the product, polymethyl methacrylate, has been used in the medical industry for 50, 60 years as a bone cement and hip, spine, knee surgery. They've been used to hold in heart valves. It's been used in the eye. It's a safe, stable product. So I've done over 6,000 syringe injections. 
it's a stable product, most people gravitate towards that. But there are some people that prefer not, as long as you know your options. But it is the longest lasting filler that's FDA approved and on the market. Thank you very much. So what we're gonna do now, I think Linda and Mel, why don't you ladies come up? Let's give our models a big hand for coming out today. And Linda and Mel are here as a resource for you. When our patients come out, we buy them lunch and we buy their, we pay for their gas money to come out. Why don't you go ahead and get blinded first? So Linda, thank you so much for coming out. Linda, can you share with us, and they've come on TV and shared their stories. Well, can you share with us, what was it that inspired you to have a cosmetic treatment done? Mel inspired me. She, I work at the gym and on top of the world. She had been to many facial plastic surgeons and didn't like any of them, so she decided to go to one of your seminars. She had the mid-lift. She came into the gym. She looked beautiful. <laughs> so I decided to go to a seminar, and I had the laser resurfacing, and I had the belt fill. You know, I work out, I try to eat well, and I wanted to feel as good, look as good on the outside as I do on the inside. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for sharing. Let's give Linda a hand. Everybody's story is a little bit different, but when you talk to enough people, you'll get an idea of what it can be like for you. So thank you so much, Linda. And thank so, you. Mel, can you share with us what was it that inspired you to have a cosmetic treatment done? Basically, when I turned 50, my, my neck started falling off. Mm -hmm. Not back here, but here. So a turtleneck would point right to the skin that was hanging. And then it, by the time Dr. Castellano took care of it, it was awful. I mean, my friends that were in their 60s, everybody thought I was their mummy. You know, like, you know, an 80-year-old neck for on a 60-year-old body. Really sad. But Dr. Castellano took care of that. I've got unbelievable pictures to show you. So if I can get around the room, I'll share with you. Uh, picture is all you need to see, and then you'll go running to Dr. Castellano. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. And they're like part of the family. I mean, we have so much fun in the office. So I tell people, you know, really I'm retired because I get to spend time with people that I like. I get to do things that I love. And we recently went on a vacation to, we did a cruise to Alaska with my family, which was great. And we loved it. It was a lot of fun. And it can get stressful on vacations after a while because you're doing all these new things and I just wanted to come back. But right now, I'm actually working right now. This is my work. And I'm working really hard right now. <laughs> but this is what we love to do. And I cannot tell you how proud I am of my team and how well they take care of me and how great they take care of our patients. So it's very special what we do. It's an honor to be here and share with you and I look forward to the opportunity to help you in any way and invest in you. It is your time now. Whatever brought you here, we can help you do something. We're gonna start the one-on-ones right now, so Violet and Nina, if you wanna get that set up, and I'll come down, so just be patient, but I promise you, by the time the food is out and we talk with everyone, we can see, oh, we're gonna do the raffle drawing too. While they're setting that up, and uh, Violet, you wanna go ahead and start seating people while we do the uh, raffle drawing. So what are we raffling off today? So this is a syringe of fillers, radius, it's calcium, and it's a very popular filler, facial filler. So this, uh, everyone who walked in got registered. This one feels very lucky. This is for Carol C. Is Carol C? Carol, Carol. Is Carol? Carol, there's Carol. Congratulations, I love you, everyone. So Carol, here's all that you have to do. You just call the office and set an appointment, and we'll be happy to take care of it. Congratulations, and thank you for coming, and thank you for your question as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with the one-on-ones. They're gonna bring the food out. So please ask all your questions. Talk to Mel and Linda. Please look through the book. The book is a great resource. I am so thankful for your time, and we're very grateful to be here and work with you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Oh, and what we're going to do, we're doing one more raffle drawing. When we have three consults left, we're doing a second drawing for, it's a red carpet VIP peel. So stick around because there's one more raffle drawing when there's three consults left. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you can feel free. Your numbers 356 and 326. And you're at 2953. Yeah, nice. Beautiful.